Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, friends of Japanese art prints, for another edition of our video production by the Artelino Company. While the Artelino Company sells Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions, that's the reason why we are making these videos. And my name is Dieter Vanshura, and I'm the owner and manager of the Artelino Company. Well, today's um, video is about one panel, one sheet by Yoshitoshi Tsukioka or Yoshitoshi Taiso from a series a Dai Nippon Meisho Kagami. First a few words about this crazy artist, Yoshitoshi, the great Meiji genius. He was born in 1839 and died in 1892. And he was a student of Kuniyoshi Utagawa, real a genius. Uh, Today, by scholars and art historians and, and by all books, he's praised as by far the leading and best artist in woodblock prints from the Meiji period. Meiji period, 1868 until 1912. Yoshitoshi was an um, art personality, genius, yes, but really a little bit odd, conservative, backward looking. And he lived during difficult times. It was the transformation of Japan from a medieval country to a modern industrial, industrialized country after Western patterns. And that was not easy. And well, Yoshitoshi, uh, he lived in the past. And towards the end of his life, well, he, he suffered from mental illness and severe depressions. But he worked and made woodblock prints until the end of his life. And great woodblock prints. He made his best series towards the end of his life. And one series is Dai Nippon Kagami, translated in the literature uh, often as Mirrors of Famous Generals of Japan, or Mirrors That's Better of Famous Commanders of Japan. It consists of 51 panels, 51 sheets, and one cover page. And it shows scenes from famous military or more political leaders from all periods of Japanese history. There's one exception. That's the last design that shows the goddess of the sun from the Japanese legend. Well, this series was a great commercial success for Yoshitoshi. And therefore, also the quality of the impressions may vary widely. But a few words about the publication. Well, it was published by two different publishers. One was Kumagai. He published 11 panels. The rest was panel published, for heaven's sake, today my English. What's wrong? Funatsu Chujiro. Yeah, he published the rest. And this series was published between 1876 and 1882. And during that period, there was a great uh, political, um, well, nearly civil war event in Japan. It was the Satsuma Rebellion of 1877. Well, some of you may remember that movie, The Last Samurai. Well, that movie was not quite actually to the historical events. Um, but that was this Satsuma rebellion when the samurais, they were not content with all these changes and they started a rebellion, but they were defeated. Well, this series is all published in vertical one size, tati, um, format. A few collector tips. Uh, I already mentioned it. Uh, very successful, and but therefore a lot of copies was produced, created, and therefore the quality may be rather different. The early impressions have the better quality, and the later one, boom, 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 difficult. And you recognize, an experienced collector recognizes it. Why is the impression poorer? Because these wooden blocks, they wear off, yeah? Um, this series is also published in this great book. We presented it in one of our other videos, Beauty and Violence. It's about Yoshitoshi by Robert Sharp and Eric Van Inning. And um, yeah, let me quote from this book. 
about this impression issue. Um, these two authors, they write the following. This series was apparently very popular since extremely good and extremely shoddy, shoddy impressions are known. Initially, research seemed to show that different editions could be distinguished by the border colors. Thus, a moss green border supposedly indicates an early edition. A gray or yellow border, an intermediate edition, and a colorless border, a later edition. However, however, so many exceptions to this rule appear to exist that this has been abandoned. Well, quote from this great recommendable book, and I want to conclude with this. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for our next video.